meet Lorraine, your average housewife. She loves democracy, her family, and the good old American way. Hi, Mary. I'd love to catch up, but I need to step out if I'm going to have enough time to pick up Junior from his baseball game. Oh, and then I need to also grab groceries and prepare a loving home-cooked meal for when Robert gets home. Little did she know, what returned home that evening was not her beloved. Welcome home, honey. Robert, what seems to be the matter? It's been a hell of a day. You remember, John? He got tangled up in one of the machines at the factory today, and... And... He'll never walk again. <gasps> That's terrible! But the terror was just beginning. It only happened because the boss had him pull in 80-hour weeks. The boys and I are thinking of talking with the higher-ups about our conditions. If they don't listen, then by golly, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe we'll stop working. Robert, darling, that sounds like a protest. Well, what if it is? I think a hard-working American is entitled to fair compensation for a fair day's work. If this system won't work, then maybe we just need to abolish it. I, 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 I left the stove on. <laughs> Give me a minute. Run, don't walk to your nearest theater to see every American's worst nightmare. Officer MacArthur speaking. What's your emergency? I think I... I married a Maoist! Witness what happens when horror comes home. Fear communism like never before when you see the Reds in full Panalux color. Only in I Married a Maoist. Paid for and directed by the U.S. Center of Anti-American Activities. From the creative minds of Aces and Eights, it's time to grab your pistols and saddle up. Get ready for an old-fashioned standoff as Keith McKinney Giddy up. and Stanley Van Robb star in the most anticipated Western of the year. <laughs> it's like taking candy from a baby. Mad Dog, let's get this loot and get a boom on. Mad Dog? That mad dog had to be put down, just like you, darling. Introducing Molly Ryder as Oh Cat Molly. The Fighting Furies return in Last Stand at Fort McGee. Watching gorgeous Panelux color as the Fighting Furies take on the worst the Wild West has to throw at them as they make their Last Stand at Fort McGee. In theaters now. Gee whiz, Susie. The night sky sure is beautiful up here on Lookout Point. Not nearly as beautiful as you are, though. Oh, Tommy, you're the sweetest. It's a little chilly tonight, but... The view is breathtaking. Here, let me warm you up a bit. Did you hear that? I think someone is out there. No way. It's your imagination. Now, where were we? Oh, no! Susie! Tommy, save me! Young man, this is preposterous. I refuse to believe that a giant bug destroyed your car and kidnapped your girlfriend. Now, if you're done wasting my time, I have actual crimes to prevent. Huh. Giant bugs? Preposterous. But it's the guy on the street, Sheriff. You have to believe me. A gigantic insect did kidnap Susie. It was the size of a bus. And there are more than one. Those things are everywhere. You have to save her. That's enough out of you. Deputy, escort this chem addict out of here immediately. No! Stop! You have to listen to me! Big bugs! Ants! Spiders! Cockroaches! Those bugs are not normal bugs! Oh no. It's too late. Mother of God! What? What are those? Humanity 
is threatened with annihilation by those born from the unnatural union of nature and radioactive fire. Creatures so terrifying that words cannot describe the horror those macabre, mutated menaces will bring. Those coming to a theater near you this summer. Years ago, you saw the world stand together to fight against the slime -ing. But what happens when the world needs the slime? Let's get one thing straight, slime. I don't like you. You killed my wife. But damn it, you're the best bet we have at getting those nuclear codes back. Apologies mean little from the likes of you. Teach those commies a lesson about personal property, and then we'll talk. This summer, it's slime to infiltrate. It's slime to love. Why did you rescue me? I'm not your main objective. But maybe after this is done, I can be. It's slime to die. The chartreuse slime to slime to die. Everywhere this July. Hello, listeners. Join us, if you will, on a trip directly into your television set as we get the behind the scenes scoop on all things television. I'm your host, Leonard Rock. For Behind the Silver Screen, here's a sneak peek at this week's episode Miss Claire Riddell. A budding new actress taking Hollywood by storm is joining us today on the Silver Shroud television show set. Miss Riddell, what can you tell us about your role on the Silver Shroud television show? Thank you for having me on your program, Mr. Rock. It's a pleasure. I'll be playing the Silver Shroud's love interest, the beautiful and deadly Mistress of Mystery, a popular character amongst the young ladies at home. <laughs> Did you know, Mr. Rock, this will be the first time ever the Mistress of Mystery will be portrayed on live television? Right you are, Miss Riddell. I can't wait to see you portray the Mistress of Mystery as she takes the leap from the dazzling pages of hubris comics and the GNR airwaves to our television sets. Truly remarkable. It's an honor to take the mantle of the Mistress of Mystery from Miss Rivers as we enter a new era for the character. I grew up fondly listening to her on the radio and hope I can bring the character to life as she once had. Here in safe and sunny California, we see the crew hard at work building the hideout of the Silver Shroud. While filming will naturally be done here, I understand that you are expected to shoot on the rough and tumble streets of Boston. Tell me, Claire, it must be rather dangerous for you to take on bands of thugs and criminals. How do you manage to keep evil at bay? <laughs> oh, Mr. Rock, I have been training to play the role of the Mistress of Mystery for a couple of weeks now. As you can see behind you, the crew is still hard at work building the set, so no actual crime fighting has happened just yet. My agent has also hired a martial arts instructor, keeps me in tip-top shape for when the day comes to take on Boston's evil criminal empire. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, the mistress is not taking on the entirety of Boston's criminal underworld alone. While she can pack quite the wallop, Silver Shroud is always close at hand. They make quite the tag team duo, if I do say so myself. Well, how did you like that backstage sneak peek into the world of the stars? I hope you'll join me in seeing the young and beautiful Claire Riddell usher the Mistress of Mystery into her biggest adventure yet. You can see more of this interview on Behind the Silver Screen with me, your host, Leonard Rock. Thank you, and see you soon. You've seen them at the circus. You've seen them at little Timmy's birthday party. You've even seen them on Backwood Street. But what if these friendly-faced fellows were actually 
frighteningly ferocious fanatics. <laughs> Director Aaron Wyeth knows how terrifying this movie is and is willing to pay $1,000 to your next of kin should you die of fright. If you're brave enough, then come to the theater this October and watch as the clowns get their last laugh only in Honk! Honk! <laughs> stab! Stab! <laughs> Frederick was your average all-American nuclear roboticist looking for solutions. Well, QX-57, we've given you two machine guns, but how can we utilize these missiles? Looking for advancements. 95 days on a single fusion core is good, but how can we make it better? Looking for love. Oh, QX-57. While I'm happy to dedicate my life to serving the old red, white, and blue, I feel like I've missed my chance to meet someone. What do you mean? I already have. This Valentine's Day, find out what happens when artificial intelligence leads to real feelings. I... I, I can't. You're a two-ton weapon of mass destruction, and I'm just a human. You're right. I am a man. A man with the need for love. Can a robot capable of white-hot lead also create red-hot relations? Find out in Weapon of Mass Attraction, launching soon at a theater near you.